G'day Aries, welcome to TJ Tarot Down Under. Gonna do the love energy coming towards you as at now. Let's see what's going on, eh? Alright, so this is a general reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate at all, you can check out your other placements or check out my playlist and see if something resonates here with your current timeline. Cross watches, this could be you. If not, it will be somebody else's energy, so keep that in mind. Thank you all for your likes, shares, subscribes and views. Every single one of you is greatly appreciated. Thank you. And the decks I'm using today will be listed below in the description box in the order that I'm using them. All right, let's go. Let's start with a message for you, Aries. Okay. Oh, so you have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents and express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So you're waiting for something to happen here. Waiting for the right timing. Letting it unfold naturally. Wanting to heal something and express love to someone. Ooh. Very, very nice. You might want to heal, you be healing yourself until you're ready to express love. Ooh, yeah, because you're hiding something here with a false mask. Mm. Hiding a commitment? Hiding the fact that you're still committed to someone? Hiding the fact that you want commitment with someone? Yeah, you definitely want to express love here. So, alright, there's my tablecloths still playing funny buggers and I lost another nail <laughs> so <laughs> cards are hard to pick up all right let's go give me three cards for the love energy coming towards Aries please if you're new to my channel um with the main reading I let the cards jump and I don't take reverse orders. otherwise I read from the bottom one more please Thank you. All right, so they have playfulness to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Mm, they might be coming in a bit playful. Hope they're not a player. Oh no, engagement. Your love life is ascending to a high level of commitment. Mm, so they could be looking for commitment with you. And it's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all so they might be coming in a bit playful but they were looking for commitment here hoping they can open their heart to you oh romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring oh i'm required there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going though finances and career financial issues are a factor in their love life right now and flirt Extend your light-hearted energy to others. Uh oh. So they do have these romantic feelings, but maybe they're not sure if you are interested as well. Hmm. Working on their stability, but they're flirting with other people here. Uh, they need to have a heart-to-heart -heart with you. They feel that passion, but it's going to be far down. Um, yeah, they might mm, be flirting with people at work because they think you're not interested. Hmm. 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 <laughs> Interesting. Well, let's find out what this main energy is here. I'll get another message for you too. Sorry, I've got this one strand of hair that keeps itching my face. High Priestess for you, King of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Five of Pentacles, and the Three of Swords. 
So I'm hearing that you need to trust your instincts here. You're looking for stability and commitment here. And if they're uh, not interested in that, you need to leave them out in the cold because they will break your heart. Wow. Yeah, no. If they're not offering stability, yeah. King of Swords, be smart about it. Air energy. Yeah, you've got to have to use logic here. As much as there is emotions, if there's no stability and they're not looking for commitment, you've got to cut them out. Yeah, they've got to want to invest in you. And you know, if, you, you've, if you've invested in people that are like that in the past, you know that it doesn't grow. So, you know what grows, what's not going to grow, what, yeah. So, trust your intuition here with Aries. So, yeah, you're, you're not looking for another painful ending here. Yeah, with mind games and manipulation, that's not what you're manifesting. Yeah, you'll just move on from that. Because you're trying to manifest long-term stability here. So, right. Okay, tell me about playfulness for this love energy coming towards Aries, please. So we've got the Eight of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. So they're coming in playful, but they do actually want to put the work in towards long-term stability here. Even though they're acting playful, yeah, well, that sort of says that, doesn't it? Ooh, Ten of Swords. Yeah, because they know playfulness will bring a painful ending. Yeah, they want the playfulness to end and this to move to something more stable. But they're waiting for something here. Three of Wands, Knight of Cups, Water Energy, Page of Swords, Air Energy, and Seven of Wands. Yeah, they're waiting for actions of love. They want to show actions of love here. But they're waiting because they need more information about you, so... Yeah, they're keeping an eye on you, watching you. Creepy dude. Um, yeah, so they've got the guard up about offering this love till they find out more. That's what they're waiting to see. If you're interested in putting that work in. Mm. Yeah, because they don't want to get their heart broken either. Yeah, they don't want to be a wounded warrior. They know you'll get tired of the games, I heard as well. Tell me about engagement for this love energy coming towards Aries. If you've watched my readings before, you know. We don't normally find out what's going on until we get towards the end of this row. At least. Okay, Queen of Pentacles and Three of Cups. Earth energy. So yeah, as far as ascending to a higher level of commitment, they want this stability, love and stability. This is a queen, queens are loving. This is love and stability. Commitment, that high level of commitment. The queen of pentacles is committed to the king of pentacles. They want to celebrate that. So celebrations, get togethers. Yeah. So they definitely want to get together with you for some sort of stability here. Four of Swords, that's all they think about. But there could be some healing that they want to do between you two. Is there some healing that needs to be done? Is there someone you already know? It could be just that. Oh, well, here we go. That Seven of Swords, yeah. Oh, sorry, Seven of Wands. They want to heal um, for, yeah. Make up for basically for being this being so guarded because they needed more information page of swords air, uh, air energy knight of cups water energy again and the three of wands so yeah so they will want to heal this because they were standoffish trying to get information and the love action that they made you wait for so 
Yeah, that guardedness. Yeah. They stand their ground, they know what they want, and they know what they want to let through the door, and they don't want to let any players in. They want to know that even though they're being playful, they want that to end, and this to move to stability, so that's why they were blocking the door to their heart. Queen of Swords, air energy. Yeah, they've been hurt before. Queen of Swords is very loving, but you've got to get past that sword because she's been hurt before. So she uses it to make sure people come correctly. So yeah, that's the information that they wanted, was to know that you were going to come correctly. Just the same as you. You want to make sure people come correctly. Right, yeah. But it's a mystery at the moment, <laughs> the moon. Tell me about his safe for you to love. This love energy coming towards Aries. A mystery to both of you because neither of you know whether you can trust the other person. Tell me that's so feeble of. Let's stop. Wow. Page of Cups, Water Energy, and Ten of Cups. Wow. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all, and there it is. The messenger, the giving the apology even but it's a message of love opening their heart offering that cup for the highest energy of all the best love that there is well yeah happily ever after wow then once it's safe they will communicate love and tell you they want happy ever after with you four of cups they don't want to miss this opportunity they're waiting for that opportunity to grab that cup. They're looking at it. They're not looking at these cups. They're looking at this cup, which is different to the other decks, where they're looking at these cups and not looking at what's being offered here. They do not want to miss that opportunity. But they're waiting till it's safe. Feeling it's safe to offer that cup. Worried maybe that you'll reject their offer. Which we saw under here, unrequited. Hmm. Death card. King of Swords, Air Energy, Three of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. They want this to transform. They do. They want this to transform. They want the playfulness to end and this to move into commitment and feeling safe with someone that they love um, but they're using their logic at the moment to see if the work's going to be put in is it going to be work put in if they put in work or you put in work because they want this love with you ace of cups they want it all right Whew, it's hot today it's going to be hot for a few days so I'm feeling the fire. <laughs> I've got an old house that doesn't... Oh, I'm living in an old house. It's not mine. I'm just renting. But, yeah, it doesn't have air conditioning, so... Yeah, what it is outside is what it is in here. And it's hot. Alright. Message for Aries is... Helpful people, hmm. peaceful resolution, a year from now, within the next few months, okay. So you might be looking for helpful people to help you to discern about this energy that's coming in here. I think you're going to feel very peaceful once this resolves itself and you see the reality of what this is. Um, there will be a peaceful resolution here, so um, you'll be looking towards a year from now where you could be with this person within the next few months. Yeah, so you'll get your resolution within the next few months and you'll be looking towards a year from now with this person. But yeah, you're looking for people to help you to understand what's going on with this person. 
I can be that hopeful person right here <laughs> with this reading <laughs> to help you to understand. <laughs> yeah, look, you got success. So, <laughs> give me three cards for the love energy coming towards Aries, please. Thank you. What else can you tell us? Ooh. Same energy. A year from now, same energy. So they're looking towards the future with you. Yes, a big fat yes. Exclamation point. And don't stop. Well. So, yeah, they're looking towards the future from this playfulness, the stability, the reader up and down. Engagement, yes, they definitely want this commitment here and safety to love. Um, they don't want that ever to stop because it's being safe for them to love you within the next few weeks. Ooh, get more information. Yeah, remain positive and reconsider. Wow, so within the next few weeks, they're going to be trying to get information out of you on what you want in the future. Um, they're trying to remain positive here, but mm, <coughs> they may have to reconsider their approach here. Or reconsider, um, yeah, well, changing their approach, which is what they're going to do. But, uh, yeah, come to some sort of compromise here. Because you just might not want the same sort of happy ever after, like. Yeah. Hmm. But they do want it with you. But yeah, they might have to reconsider the fact that you might not be interested. Hmm. <coughs> Alright, give me a message for Aries at the bottom. Ooh, five of wands. The Emperor. Is that Aries card? I think that is Aries card, yes. Um, that's your card. The Wheel of Fortune and the Page of Cups. Water energy. So I think you're a bit conflicted about this person. You're not really sure. <sighs> Trying to stay in control here and let the wheel turn and see where this goes before you offer any love. Yeah, which is fair enough because they're coming in playful to start with. Um, so yeah, you're a bit conflicted about whether there could be maybe other options or competition here. Um, you're, but you're staying in your emperor power, Aries, of staying in control. Keeping things running smoothly. Just biding your time, letting that wheel turn before you offer anything to this person. And they're a bit the same. What, what's that? King of Pentacles. Earth energy. Yeah, you want someone who's stable, grounded, and committed. You're looking for commitment. So there's the king to the queen. Male or female, it's not gender specific. Um, but yeah, you're looking for commitment too. Yeah, and you're willing to put that work in. Same again. they got eight of pentacles. You've got eight of pentacles. <laughs> you're both a bit guarded, yeah. And again, ten of swords. They've got ten of swords. Wow. Because you've both been through painful endings before. So you're both a bit weary of, is this going to be stability? But look, here's the happiness. Happiest card in the deck, the sun. Beautiful. And you're looking for clarity too, yeah about whether they're juggling you or not. All right, tell me about a year from now for this love energy coming towards Aries, please. What are they 
I have a year from now? What are they looking at in a year from now? Okay, stop. Making it difficult. <laughs> oh, look at that. Ten of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. Earth Energy. Wow. So, yeah, a year from now, long-term stability here. And when I saw that page of pentacles, I was thinking this is like a gift. It could be engagement. That engagement card is there in a year from now. If you are still stable, together, committed, maybe they'll make it some sort of official. Wow. 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 Ace of pentacles. Yeah. Stability. A stable new beginning. I'm hearing beginning your life together, committed. Wow, that's what they see. I mean, there's lots of pentacles here. Um, but there is the celebration of love. There is the ten of cups of love. Ten of pentacles, ten of cups, the safe to love. Yeah, Hangman, the star, the lovers, wow, look at these mages, oh, and the devil, oh, so, they are trying to look at things from a different perspective here, they're looking towards the future, I think you've kind of moved it upside down, and they, you are their wish fulfillment, and you know, you you are the soulmate counterpart that they're wishing for here, but they're worried about the choice being made. Is this going to end up toxic here? Is it going to be balanced? Well, they're looking at that option as well. And that, you know, maybe you're not interested. They're trying to manifest this stability though. New beginnings all round with you. Yeah, that's all they think about. You're all they think about. Mm. Yep, they're just waiting to see what your answer will be. Alright, tell me about yes for this love energy coming towards Aries, please. Oh, four of Cups. Again, looking up at that offer. Yes, they see you as a gift from the divine. Yes, all they can, all they're looking at is your offer. That's all they see. They're not looking at anything else. All they see is your you from the divine as a gift. Yes. If you make them the offer, they will say yes. Nine of Wands, but they're tired of waiting. <laughs> they're going to get tired of waiting. Uh, they're really hoping that they don't end up a wounded warrior here. They really hope that their offer isn't rejected here. Seven of Wands, the Hierophant, the Tower. And the Queen of Wands, fire energy. This is you, Aries. <sighs> They're standing their ground on what they want. They want commitment here. Um, and they hope that this will change from being just a passionate um, energy between you two. They may shock you, even, if this is you. Um, they may shock you with this commitment because they've been really guarded. <laughs> they want a new beginning with you. They were going to take that leap of faith. That yeah, this all this passion between you two with that playfulness will change into a commitment here because that's exactly what they want. We'll go. I think it will go no further if it doesn't. But yeah, they're being patient here. They're trying to be really patient and let this just blend naturally. 
But again, they want to put that work in. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, but they want to make sure it's balanced first. Okay. Tell me about don't stop for this love energy coming towards Aries, please. Hmm. Yes, it did. Anything else? Just double check. Might only be in this top section. I think that was it. Yep. Okay. So, Four of Swords and the Chariot. So, yep, they're not going to stop dreaming about you. And this moving forward, wanting this to move forward triumphantly. They're not going to stop. They're going to keep charging in. <laughs> they want this to charge forward. I'm not getting this as healing. I'm getting this as daydreaming. They're hoping that they don't have to heal and that this does move forward. So they're not going to stop wanting this. Oh, the devil energy. They're so attracted to you. But, yeah. Um, but, yeah, that's that fear as well, that you're not interested. But I'm just getting passion off this. But, yeah, I think if it's unrequited, well, they'll have to stop then. But... It's going to burn them. It's going to burn them. They will have to heal. Because they don't want to stop loving you. They don't want to stop. They don't want this to stop. And for it to stop would be so painful for them. The star. Temperance. Hangman. Wow, well, look at all this major again. And the ten of wands. Yeah, you are their wish fulfillment. They're trying to be patient here, but they're not going to hang around and be a burden on you, though. They don't want to hang around and be a burden on you, but they are being patient about this wish fulfillment. Yeah, because they don't want this to turn to toxic. If you're not interested in them, I suppose they want to know, although it will really hurt them not have to move on, but. They don't want this to turn toxic, where you hate them or anything like that. But they feel it, wow, I'm like a real attraction to you, like hot. I'm getting that foreigner song, hot blooded. <laughs> Alright, what would you like to say? Ooh, I can't right now. It was hard for me to let you go. I love holding you and I am not available. Oh, is this why it's, they think it's unrequited? So you got something else going on at the moment. You can't right now because you're letting something else go. You love the fact that you're holding on to the fact that this could be something with this person, but you've got something else you've got to let go, so that's why you're not available. Yeah, you've got to let go of that... That garden, garden, like you've got a painful ending, they've got a painful ending, you've got something that you need to let go with that. I mean, they've got the Four of Swords here twice, so I think they've done their healing with that. They don't have to heal again, but... Yeah, I didn't see healing for you, though. I think you might have some healing you need to let go of something. 
Mm, that's all they're saying. You've got I will contact you soon. Maybe once you've healed, you'll let this person know. Alright, give me at least three cards for this love energy coming towards Aries. What do they want to say to Aries? I had a feeling that would come out. Something flip. No, it went back. Oh no, there it is. Okay. At least one more, please. What do they want to say? So, yeah, I knew that would come out. Can we at least be friends? Oh, yeah, they don't want this to turn toxic. They don't want to ever not be in your life. They at least want to be friends. They at least want to be friends. And they will, you know, they're not going to hound you or anything like that. They want commitment with you. But they, they, like I said, they don't want this to turn toxic. They would at least be happy to be friends with you. You are beautiful, Aries. They think you are absolutely beautiful. Wow. i got a tingle then. <laughs> and could we start again, please? I guess once the... They want to get past this playfulness and offer that stability that maybe once you've healed, can they start again? I'm afraid it will never work out. They've got a fear here. That's that unrequited. Lying was easier than telling the truth. I think that coming in with that playfulness is what that's about. You know, just a bit playful. Test on the waters because they've been hurt before. You are so hot. Oh. Oh, yes, you are, Aries. And they, yeah. <laughs> that's that hot. <laughs> They're never going to stop thinking you're hot. And I should have told you how I felt. Yeah, that's right. Because they came in playful when they wanted st want stability. Um, so they should have told you how they felt right from the start. Um, but you're so hot that they just couldn't help it. <laughs> Coming in with that playful energy. And yeah, it was easier than telling the truth. But they know they should have told you how they felt. Because now they're worried that this isn't going to work out. Because you might not be interested in them because you think they're just playing. Oh, Aries. So you got a good one coming in here. But yeah, they're worried that they might have stuffed this up. Yeah. Hmm. Alright, well that's your reading, Aries. Uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll do another reading in a few days or so, and we'll see what's going on then. Alright, all the best. Take care. Good luck. And I'll catch you later.